Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here and today we're going to focus on the left side of the harbour and put in two piers and some ships. The first thing I'm adding is this pier and crane. Both are from the set 7994 City Harbour from 2007 and that's the set that also includes the very large City Lines blue container ship and we'll see that in a moment. Altogether the set had 659 pieces and retailed for £59 or $90 in the US. I haven't really made any changes to this other than to fix the stickers using my patented hot tea technique and I've added a couple more uh, stickers onto the play features being the two crane winders in order just to make them look consistent with other ones but otherwise there's just no need to change anything it's all perfect another thing that came with that set was a truck which can take one of the standardized 6x10 containers that are used uh, throughout my city uh, so I'll add that to the pier and that can be awaiting a container from the ship or maybe I've just delivered one to the ship. And here is the City Lines container ship in all its glory. I absolutely love this ship. I think it's essential for any LEGO City really just because it's so big and unique. It's the only time that this ship hull has been used and I've got mine crewed by the series minifigure captain and a whole crew of stevedores who are loading the containers on. And talking of containers, let's load it up. Got a white one with some barrels in it. I always use the 6x10 standardized size as my uh, container just because anything bigger and it starts to become a bit unwieldy I think it works very well got one with some octan stickered barrels on and some hazard stripes because it's probably flammable everyone's favorite a whole containers worth of Lego now this one's closed I generally prefer having all of my containers open like this one just because then you get twice as much value because this one's got a safe in for example from one of the many sets where there's a safe being broken into and you can just see with this being a an open pallet an open container it's a lot more interesting than just having loads of different colored closed ones here's a stickered one with a motorboat in. This is the very small boat that comes with this set. And I'll leave a space for a container being transferred from the lorry onto the ship in a future video. More Octan hazard stripes. And last but not least, a green tractor from a poly bag and more stickered panel pieces there. So pretty simple in a way, but very effective indeed. I just think that looks absolutely fantastic. The cornerstone of any Lego Harbour. Now the next pier is based on the one from the launch and load seaport set from 1991, that's set 6542. It's very similar in the sense that it's got these side buffers on, it's got this rail for a movable crane, and it's using the old grey 16 by 16 pier pieces. Now as you can see both of my piers go right up to the wall, that's to give the suggestion that they continue on from there I didn't want to have a whole row of buildings along that side because it would mean that I was 
using too much space that could be used for boats. So you have to imagine that, that the wall is not the end of the world, but the world just continues on in that direction. So the pier's got a lot of details. It's got a lot of places to tie up. Ladders going down into the side of the water. Got these buffers, as I said before. And I've added some additional things like a box with an old chain hanging out of it. A barrier with warning signs so you don't drive off the end. A sign with a car driving off the end showing it's a, a key point and even a safety life ring. So the crane that works on this pier works in a similar way but it's able to move on wheels along two sets of 32 long rails which gives it a lot more versatility. Let's get the crane on. And here is the last crane. Now this isn't actually from an official Lego set but it is kind of a mock that's a compromise between two different ones. The first is again from 6542 the launch and load seaport which was a red crane and the second is 4514 cargo crane which was a grey crane from 2003 but I wanted a bit more contrast in colour rather than having another red one or something else that's grey so I went with white and this mechanism allows this crane to move up and down its gantry and then it's got the play feature on the back in order to wind up and down the crane hook itself and then this bit moves the hook from the pier itself to over the boat so obviously it can do boat to boat movements as well. So it's another different style and it's another colour and it just gives a lot more variety so I'm really happy with that. Now I deliberately left a space between the large container ship and this second pier so I could fit a second row of boats in on the far side there. The first of which is this fishing boat and this is the boat from set 60015 Coast Guard Plane from 2013. I don't have the Coast Guard Plane, I just bought the fishing boat separately on eBay and I really like the fishing boat just because it's very utilitarian, it's very functional, it just looks no frills like a fishing boat and I thought it was really fantastic. I have kept the fact that it suddenly sprung a leak which was the sort of story behind that set but obviously they're in harbour but uh, the, the leak has just sprung and you can see the water gushing on. Now the story that's unfolding on the pier is that one pallet of fish has been loaded onto a small yellow vehicle which is being driven off, that's the second of those. Uh, one pallet is on the quayside which is attracting some seagulls and the third uh, container there is still on the fishing boat. So I will introduce more boats uh, to both of these piers in the near future but for now I think I'm going to call that a day. So as always thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed that video as much as I did making it. Do remember also to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And next time on Robin Hood Bricks, I think I'll be adding an aircraft which will be suspended above the El Dorado Fortress over here. I arguably should have done that before I did this video because now I've got a lot more obstacles in between me and successfully mounting it because I'll be using the clear 1x2x5 transparent bricks. But anyway, you'll have to tune in to see how I get on. See you next time!